Good evening. How is everybody? Hope everybody is well. Thank you very much for coming over. Turn my phone off so I don't keep wolf, wolf, wolf whistling. Um, thank you very much for joining us for another Friday Night Live. As you can see, I've got a nice small piece of wood in there to uh, do a bit of spindle work. Inspired by Mark the Gentleman Woodturner. So anything goes wrong, it's Mark's fault, okay? I'm just going to put it out on the table and lay it out there ready. <laughs> so let's bring the guys in. So I have in Mark the Gentleman Woodturner. Hello, we've got Wayne... Part of Wayne over Mark's face. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> there you oh, go. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's, oh, that's better. better. There we go. Put Wayne on the bottom. Right. So I have Wayne, the Woodturner, in and Mark, the John Woodturner, the inspiration for tonight. So thank Can't you very much. Thank you very much, guys. What do you want to do, Matt? Wayne? Do you want to come in a bit? Go out a bit? What? No, no. Hey, I would have been thinking, Steve. Steve. Is, that, that's that's better. Better. is that better? There you go, sir. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's better. better. So thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming over and joining me for tonight. Mark looks shocked. What's the matter, mate? You look shocked. <laughs> so, anyway, just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and turn an emer emerging wine bottle out of this piece. Um, I didn't quite sure what I was going to do this morning. Um, I spoke to Mark this afternoon. He came up with a suggestion. Um, I've watched it. I can't remember the guy's name who did it. Um, back in 2015, the actual video I watched, so it's quite a while ago, um, and he did an emerging wine bottle out of a, uh, a trunk. So thank you, Mark, for giving me a suggestion, and that's what I'm going to have a go at. So um, uh, right, we're right. going to see what we can do. Pete just, just said, said he's got, got an echo, echo on, on uh, me and Mark. Mark. Right, let's have a look. Got an echo on you and Mark. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't hear, hear any echo. echo. Has everybody else got an echo, or was it just... Just Pete. It'll, It'll be, be easy. Age. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put it into a different camera and see. Um, so we'll go to overhead camera, and we'll see whether we've still got the echo here. If we have, then I'll move it. I'll uh, change it. Do you still have an echo? Gerard saying yes. So Everyone's the... saying there's an echo. Steve, mute Yo. the NDI source in Everybody's audio. Everybody's saying there's an echo. Right, what about now? Big echo. Right, see if it's gone now, because I've come out of NDI, and we're on. I hope it's gone, they said. Right, so that's obviously just when you guys, when we're on um, on the screen. Okay, we'll sort that out. Right, so the echo is gone now. Okay, okay. All right. Cool. This is all trial and error. This is the first time we've used this source, so we're going to see what happens. Um, but like I say, thank you, Pete, for letting us know. So I'm going to put a tenon on the end here. We're going to clean this end up, and, and we're going to get it so we can get it grabbed into the chuck first. And then... Uh, We'll start shaping. We're going to leave the bottom natural, so uh, that shouldn't need too much attention. So while I'm just getting a tenon on here, the gentleman or Mark and Wayne can let us know who's in, please. Shall I do it, Wayne? Yeah, you carry on, Sunshine. Right, from the participants list then, we've got Andy H's for turning, Barry Fisher, Barry's Wood Creations, Barry's in the Shed, Ben Jamin, Brent Beecroft, Brickhouse Craftworks, Circular Wood by Keith, Colin Izzard, Copper Owl Wood Turning, Cornish Maid, 1982, Doug Miller at Wood Spun Round, Douglas Mungham, Duncan McCurley Turner, Eric Winkler, Four King Owls, Jared the French Turner, Jay's Cabin, James Crawford, Jennifer's Craft Creations, Joe Senior, Lawrence Begaja, Malcolm Douglas, Nick Castle, Pat Cumming, Deep from Twisted Trees, Ruby Clare, Steve Scott, Wivy Wood Shed, Wood Wizardry by Colin and Woodworm Paul. Oh, blimey. Just a few of you then. Yeah, there's just one or two in today. Nope, Christine and Michael have come in. Hi, right, Christine and Michael. Thanks everybody coming over for tonight. John Scarborough's just come in. Hi, John. Uh, Richard, uh, your dad's in. Hi, Dad. Lawrence Bagaja. Don't know if I mentioned him. 
Okay. You mentioned Keith? Yeah, I mentioned Keith. Okay. Seth from Brickhouse is in. Is Seth? Oh, Terry's in. Hey, Terry. Hi, Terry. Hey, doing, Terry. Harry Chitty's in. Douglas Mungham. That's the thing I've noticed about Eoworm, and you miss half of what the the guy's doing on the turn, and because you're looking at the chat to see what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Doug Miller, hi Doug. So that's our 10 and on the end. Of course, with this system, Wayne, you and I can keep seeing each other. And we can make hand signals to each other about what he's doing. Yeah, we can. Yeah, but the normal gestures you make are not <laughs> TV friendly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, if Wayne covers his eyes, I know you're in trouble. <laughs> Wait, Jules asking, Jules asking what, what wood it is, uh, Steve. Yeah, it's a piece of wood. Um, don't know. I, I think I got given it from a guy and he told me it was sycamore. Whether it is or not, I'm going to let you guys be the judge of that because uh, you know what I'm like with wood. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I was just checking, Steve. Steve, your buy me a coffee link yeah. isn't complete. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah, I've just tried. You, no, haven't, got your, you haven't got your unique SK graph bit on the end. Okay. Um, I've, ju I've just tried it. Uh, John, he's not sure what the wood is. Let me see if. Why is that not done that then? Hang on. Let me just give me a second. Sorry, guys. Have you put the link in the description as well, Steve? Yeah, I'm sure I did. Yeah, you need the SKKRA bit on the end of the one in the chat. Is that in... Um... No, that's it. it's, it's in the one in the chat. It's just that the link doesn't seem... To, it's not taking me anywhere. Now he's got .com. But he hasn't got the forge slash SK. He has. K -R yeah, he has. Is he? Yeah. Let me see if if you click on it, he has. Yeah, because in the description it works. Well, I don't know what don't work in there. Um, let me just copy and paste it over then. Hang on. Uh, right, let's go here. Oh, God. Oh, the pressure, the pressure. Performance anxiety. Oh, Lionel's come in. Hi, Lionel. Do, do, do. Somebody's asked a question. Gerard must ask a question. Uh, he's answered it. Why can't I get the the chat up now? Why can't I get oh, the chat up as well? I can't get Mark, the I'm thinking of you and your coloured star bond this afternoon. If I did have some, would have been faster than using the bronze powder. Okay. I think Ruby's answered that. Five minute boxy. Cut it with a quick yeah, paint. Yes. Right, I can't get the description up because every time I go into the video, obviously it's going live, isn't it? So. Oh, I'll leave it just. So I'll copy it and put it in the chat. Just leave it, Steve. Have, have you got the. Have, have you got buy me coffee in the description of the video? Yes, it's in the description of the video, yes. Yes, it is. Right. Because I put it... the link at the top of the chat. Yeah, I'm going to go into the top of the chat. If you do lose the description, you can get the same by me. If 
Like, copy or mark is just in there. In the Chesky Wood Creations. Hi, Chesky. I don't know why it's not working because I copied that over from the Crafty Festival and that worked on for that. Straight well, up. I, I, just, I, I, just, I just wouldn't mind buying me a coffee and copy it from there. Well, thank you very much. Right, that's I've started putting them. Me, it's the national podcast, and uh, now I think people have had enough of me asking for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's asking how everybody is. Yeah, how is everybody? Uh, oh, okay. We're very good, thank you, Katie. Hope you are Fair well. Enough. Right, so I squared the two ends up. So I'll get it into the tail stock now. No, I won't. I'll get it into the chuck even. Where did that go? So for ah. those coming into the chat late, what are you doing, please, Steve? I am making, no, I'm not, I'm turning an emerging wine bottle. Oh, that sounds posh, doesn't it? Eh? Emerging wine bottle from an old Norfolk boy. Who doesn't drink. Who don't drink. Mind you, with some of the friends I've got, we got a little start. <laughs> <laughs> Charming. Oh, I weren't, like, I weren't meaning you, but you know, if the cap fits, sunshine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, so we're clamped in there nice and tight now. Actually, the first thing I ought to do, really, I ought to make sure the centres are lined up, don't I? Seems I'm doing spindle work, which I didn't do. Because it might not be very central if I don't. That's the only thing I don't like about slave is no positive lock for the when you bring it back to centre. He doesn't have a positive lock coming back to the centre. He doesn't have a reverse. No, I don't have a lot. But it's a good lave. <laughs> Do we know right, got Jennifer is week? asking, Jennifer's asking, uh, who's got premieres this weekend? I have got no idea, Jennifer. No. Apart from me, at 9 o'clock on Sunday night. Um, but Mike is live before me on Sunday. Uh, other than that, I, I really don't know. Hatch Ruby Podge. saying happy Easter to everybody. Happy, happy Easter, Easter, Easter. Back to you, Ruby. Obviously, Sunday, I think you've got Tournage de Bois and Hodgepodge. J sort of late afternoon our time. Obviously, JP, Caitlin, JP Wayne. JP and Caitlin, they're late Sunday yeah, night. Yeah, they're late Sunday night, they are. Wayne is nine o'clock Sunday night. Uh, I would say, Jennifer, you'd probably be safe at about six o'clock Sunday evening. Right, had so a guess. I reckon, I reckon. Yeah, just before Mike goes on. I yeah. About there. Just before Mike Walt goes on. In fact, tell you the truth, you'd be as well going at half past six on Sunday evening. Yes. And that will be that will be just before Mike goes on. So you, you might actually pick up a, a few more views since our Mike's on just after you. Oh, you're going up that high, are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. Can you start? Oh, Seth has said six o'clock on Sunday is when um, Hodgepodge is premiered. So half past six would be better for Jennifer then. Yeah, half past, Hodgepodge. half past six, quarter to seven, something like that, Jennifer. 
So I'm going to go as deep okay. as the bottle. 6.30 is when Tournage. 6.45 then, Jennifer. Depends how long, how long your video is. So since I don't drink, what's the rough diameter of a wine bottle? Three inches? Oh, hung, yeah. Um, give us a second, I'll tell you. Bound to have one nearby, folks. He just, he just glared at me through the camera. <laughs> <laughs> People in the chat, but they don't realise because Steve's using a new system. Normally, as earworms, we can't see each other. <laughs> but Wayne and I can see each other on this screen, <laughs> but you can't. So me and him are making faces at each other. <clears throat> Seventy mil. Seventy Steve. mil, close enough. Isn't it? Just right, so I'll just get rid of all this bulk and then we'll um, actually, I'm going to use a uh, bowl gouge for that. Get rid of a lot of this bulk and then we'll. Uh... We've got a Wayne Hillman in. Oh, someone new. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. All the time zones that we talk about on this channel, Wayne Hillman, are British summertime. So if we say half past six, that's half past six, British summertime. Or GMT plus one. Chunky. What are you using, Steve? Are you using a bowl gouge or a spindle gouge? I'm using a half inch bowl gouge. Just basically to get um, all the material. Wayne. Wayne is from Pennsylvania. Oh, thank you for coming over, Wayne. Yeah, nice to see you in. Hope to hope you enjoy what you um, see. If you don't, it's Mark's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Old shoulders, cope with the pressure. Most things are my fault. Katie's saying, has anyone noticed how the evening has gone out? Yes, I certainly have, Katie. It's been oh. great down here, hasn't it, Katie? Today today and yesterday, both been lovely days. My drink's full of shavings. Joe's saying, you're saying, question, is it Sycamore kind of junkie? Is it Sycamore what? She's asking if that piece of wood is Sycamore kind of chunky. Well, I'm not sure is if it is. Is it chunky like Sycamore? No. Barry's in. Bonjour, oui, Barry. Hi, Barry. Mon ami, petit poil. Ange tout, ange tout. Just move that a bit closer. Oh, Stuart's in. Evening, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. How are you, sir? Hello, uh, Stuart. Nice to see yeah. you. Have you had a haircut yet? Oh, and Stuart, before he says anything, if he does colouring tonight, it wasn't my idea. I, <laughs> I totally, I am totally distancing myself <laughs> from here, any colours. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Wait, man. No, I told him not to colour it. The only disadvantage is on you guys is I recorded what you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> to cover my own backside. Hey, can I just say I suggested the colour the colour in? You did, Wayne. Well, I only suggested it. It's actually Steve that's applying it. 
<laughs> Did you ask our permission to record our voices? Yeah, when you came in. All oh, right. I said, hello, Mark, how are you? You go, hello, that was it. That was the, that was the agreement, agreement signing. Stuart, you haven't had a haircut yet. Uh, Stuart, yes, they should be read somewhere. Uh, we have discussed that. Ooh, nasty crack in there. Hope people turn that out. Yeah, you're going to go well past that. Oh, that's better. Well, it's amazing what you can do with a sharp tool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> certainly is. So I hope everybody's gone over and signed up for the competition that Hampshire Sheen's doing at the moment. No, I've got to see it, I haven't. You haven't? Nope. Don't what you want to do with some beard oil? Don't you want some beard oil? And... No, I don't want any beard oil. Which tries it? Body wash. <laughs> Ruby saying, Steve, you might have to colour the wine bottle unless it's white wine. <laughs> yeah. Jisky's saying he turned an 18-inch walnut bowl yesterday and the tear-out was gruesome. But right. every tool in the arsenal to no avail. Oh, JP's in. Hey, Hi. JP. Hi, JP. Hi, JP. Let's move that a little bit closer. Do you reckon that's what sick of all them winning or not? I'm not, looking at the bark, I wouldn't have... Well, I, I, I don't really know, tell you the truth. That's all right. Is the honest answer to that one. Don't matter anyway, does it really? Tree wood. Definitely tree wood. Eric Wink was asking, Steve, what is the name of what you're using for the colouring? Is it paint or stain? He's new to turning. Stain. It's stain. Hampshire Sheen Intrinsic. It's a stain. Water based stain. JP looks like you, are, like you have a grand time down on the beach today. Yeah. Hopefully, I had nice weather. Very dusty, this wood. Well, and on JP spotted Katie. Oh, here we go. It's all dust come off of it. There's no shavings off of it. Trevor P's in. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Is that another new name? He's been in a few chats. He might be the first time here with you. Oh, welcome, Trevor. Trevor P. Hobby Turner. Welcome. 65 watching. Thank you very much. Well, Jigsy's in. Hi, Jigsy. Hi, Jigsy. Jigsy's cooking again. He always seems to be cooking, that man. A couple more passes, and I think we'll be getting 
get them ready. Well, mind you, that's over three inches, I know. I think we're going to be on that crack. I think I might have to super glue that crack. Well, that could, I mean, you're going to be going nearly all the way down to your um, live centre. Yeah. You don't need to worry about that anyway. Been a bit cool down on the beach. JP saying, "Yeah, it was good, but there was a brass monkey freezing its hollow forms off." And Katie saying, "How are you, JP? Are you better? Better than what, Katie?" Caps lock, Jamie. Caps lock. Yeah. You make me ears hurt, Jamie. You're shouting at everybody. Is he being um, abusive? No, he's no, not no. being abusive. No, he's, he's being he's... very pleasant. He's just shouting. All oh, right. So I reckon long enough for the neck. That's over three inches, isn't it? I know that. Watchbot says uh, he thinks he's got an entire trash can of shavings on his floor from rough turning this <laughs> morning. Watchbot, mate, do you want to get that picked up as a massive fire hazard? Yeah, yeah, you want to get that picked up? <laughs> <laughs> says Mark. <laughs> whatever you do, whatever you do, don't make the mistake of taking a picture of it and putting it on Facebook. <laughs> You'll get the safety snowflakes shouting at you. <laughs> safety snowflakes, I like it. Right, Seth is saying, uh, Steve, yes. since your spindle turning, wouldn't it be better to make you cut straight straight in with the wing of your gouge? With the way you're turning now, it, it looks like you're going directly into end grain. Uh, in some ways, I'd agree with you there, Seth. I find when I'm doing end grain turning like Steve is, uh, Rather than going straight, and I do try to go downhill, but he is trying to do a straight piece of work there. So it, it's something. It doesn't matter which way he's going. At some point, he's going to go directly into the end grain, yeah. since I would say uh, parallel. It's a bit hard. I mean, ideally, I'd like to be going that way. I know exactly what you're saying, but it's not. Yeah. What you're looking for, diameter-wise, Steve, is either seventy mil or two and three quarter inches. Okay. That's about 80 mil at the minute, so I've got a little bit more to come off of there, yep. Yeah. Hodgepodge says, lol, I want to manage to take a photo. Yeah, go on, lol. Go on, Hodgepodge, take a photo, take a photo. Uh, I might even comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. You could, you, you could compare pictures. Yeah, you see his workshop can burn down the faster. And all this hazardous material we have lying around on the... Floor. Hang on, hang on. Right, JP saying, let it be known, Meters International will be, no, will be doing a random pop-up podcast at 9 o'clock, and he's put a link in for us. Cool. Have you asked Nick's permission? <coughs> 76. I know. 71 watching. Thank you very much. Thank you. Not including Wayne or Mark, does anyone know what a brass monkey is? Everybody in the chat can ask, answer that one then.
What a brass monkey is, surely. Yeah, the brass monkey. Yeah, well, surely they know what a brass monkey is, don't they? Oops. Jamie's saying, blame Chris Cube. Right, let's measure that. Ooh, that'll do. 70.4, that'll do. That's near enough for me. Right, so... Rim. Nick. So, let's take that down. With the part and tool. I've lost the chat for a minute, Mark. You're going to have to carry on without me. Steve, have you got a zoomed in picture of camera down? Yeah. That's better. Right. Diameter of the neck is about 30 mil, Steve. Okie doke. Steve, can you see the screen? Which one? Can you see Wayne? Yeah. Wayne, just hold your wine bottle up a sec. So we can see the, that's it, the curve. That's what you're looking for, that curve. Right, I'm not going to go in alert. I'm going to use that as my curve. You hear with me? Okay. Yeah. That's the bit just flying out there that was loose. Oh, you bottom, look at that. Ah. No, that's, that's just about spot on, that. Yeah. Is it? I think that's safe yeah. some work. <laughs> Right, let's try it then. No, take the rest of that off of the goat. Yeah. Going towards the tail stock. Towards the tail stock. JP says, "Speed is your friend, Steve." I oh, know, but when so you got that, got, when you got that, called Mark told him. When you got that great big lump on there. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a cracking clear picture on YouTube. Douglas among them is asking, do people know what a monkey's fist is? Well, that sounds, uh, I don't know if I really want to know, to be honest. <laughs> right, John is asking, why towards the tail stock, please, Wayne? Oh, uh, because he's um, he's just taking, taking stuff off, and he's, re I nearly said realistic there, realistically there. He's actually going with the grain downhill, so it's easier for that particular piece to be turning towards the tail stock. 
Ruby, he was going to insert a cork, but he couldn't find one. Yeah, because we're non-drinkers, I couldn't find one. Well, I'm a non-drinker. Not saying so much for Nick, but... That's not surprising being married to you. Oh, uh, 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 was that payback? Yep. <laughs> so what did you say the neck was weighing about 30 mil, mate? Yeah. Yeah, it's over 30, but I'll chuck it. Oh, do you know what? I even impress myself sometimes. 29.5. Oh, it's too small now. Scrap the whole thing. Yeah, rub it off. Rub it off. It's got a little bit splintered out of there. Hopefully we can um, get rid of some of that. So I've got to do that little bit of 80 quid. The neck might not be a, the neck might be a little bit narrower at the top. I don't want to get my hand too close to that bit spinning around there. Andy Lynette, please in. Hi, Andy. Douglas Mungham says, uh, Wayne, that looks like an 1800s rum bottle. Yeah, that's broke a bit out of there, look. Oh, mother. So do I try and stick a bit in there, or do I just turn it smaller, narrower? What do you reckon? Oh, turn it narrower. It'll not make any difference. It's a pretending bottle anyway. Jamie's saying by the time you put about 10 layers of Starbond CA finish on there, it will be the correct <laughs> thickness. <laughs> Ruby saying it goes and make the body shorter to make the neck longer. Yeah, it could do. See how narrow I have to get it first. Katie's saying that her partner Chris might let her go on his big lathe soon. Excited but also scared. Don't be scared of that lathe, Katie. It's got good karma. Yeah, and it's not that big either. What's he laughing at? I think just Wayne and I. Right, Question. Seth has just... Go yeah. on, no, you, no, no, you, you go, you know, go on, Mark. Have either of you ever figured out the purpose behind bottle stoppers? I've just never been able to find a proper use for them. Yeah, me neither. I've, I've got to agree, Seth, me neither. Apart from anything else, I only ever buy screw top anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I make them because people ask me to make them for them, then I look at them with sadness. It's like, really? Why do you want this? Once it's opened, it's dead. <laughs> you mean you only drink half a bottle a night, lightweight? Who does? Anybody that buys a bottle stopper. Oh, right. Douglas Mungham said, a monkey's fist is a special knot on the end of a throne line used when tying up chips. Well, GP did put earlier on that it's a knot, or a type of knot. He was a sea cadet, weren't he? I do like this gouge. Spindle gouge, Mark. I'm glad you got me in trouble for me buying this. I just... God, just... Speechless. I didn't suggest you bought it. Buy it. Bought it. Buy it. Or one of them, anyway. Uh, one of them. I just told you to run, buy the right-sized handle. Yeah.
Right, Jamie around. says he wasn't in, he wasn't a seeker, Dad. He was in the boys' brigade. Boys' brigade. Sorry, shouldn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the boys' brigade? He was an Eagle Scout. Boys' brigade. Bit before yeah, my time. Boys' brigade is a bit before boys my time. T- totally different to the Scouts. I don't think I'd have admitted to that. Jiggs has said, bottle stopper becomes useful when you're on through the second or third bottle. Well, no, actually, Jiggs, you don't. <laughs> Hence why we won't be doing Friday night with Wayne and wine. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got rid of that nasty bit there now. That looks fine. That looks proportioned. So I just need to get that little lumpy bit out of there. Just go with that with a 3.8 bowl gouge. Just to try and... Andy, you're right. Bottle stoppers are useful for using up scraps of wood and then getting paid for them. Oh, Keith's put another piece of information in there. A monkey's fist knot used to hide a lead shot tied into the middle to give it additional weight for throwing. They were also unlawful to carry on the streets. Battle, well, Seth says, or Battle of the Makers with Mark and Vodka. Yeah, yeah, well, that, uh, yeah, we've already proved that doesn't work. Katie, that is not okay. a good idea. No, no, no. And if you're going uphill. Yeah, I know. I won't be lazy, I'll move. So I'm just going to put a little chamfer on it, I think, just so that's got a little bit of a Actually, I don't need to go around the side if I'm going to do that. Ruby, never go near the lathe when you've had a drink. Oh, definitely not. No, I just did that and got bits all in mine. That's what you get for drinking flavoured coffee. No, it won't. It's me, uh... I drink flavoured coffee because my mate drinks flavoured coffee. Who's that? Wayne. Wayne drinks coffee flavoured coffee. Coffee flavoured coffee. Yeah. That's the only flavoured type of coffee you need. Right. So I'm going to cut this off now. Make sure that's tight. Oops, wrong way. Clean this off. Just use a part and tool, I think. Small part and tool just to cut that off here. It is saying like a Mark and Wayne chat tool. We can <laughs> talk about turning. I'll shut up now. We don't talk about turning when we're both on the bottle. 
<laughs> no, you don't want to hear what they talk about when they're on the bottle. No, Ruby saying, Katie, if they did that, she might need a translator. <laughs> so do I drill a little, do I drill a little hole no, in her? It's it's not it's not gonna ha- it is not gonna happen. I'm not starting a podcast type thing. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Wayne's world. So do I um put this hole through the centre out or not? Or should I not bother? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I think you should just, you just to make it look a bit more realistic. You just want me to smash the side. That's what you want. Well, don't put, don't put a big hole in there. Just put a little one. In. In fact, to tell you the truth, Steve, you could just leave that little bit on the top there, leave that there, and pretend that's the cork. Yeah, because I'm going to paint some of that red anyway. Yeah. Do you think that neck will be a little? Do you think that neck needs to be a little bit longer, or does? No, leave it. Leave it. It's fine. Okay, okay. Just don't know. Right. So what am I doing? Sanding. What's he laughing at? What are you two doing? <laughs> you two are taking the mic now, I'll tell you. <laughs> no, we're not. You are? I know you are, because you're bloody quiet and he's chuckling in the background like that. Da- Muttley. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, you two being able to see each other. <laughs> I think it's working fine. I think I this can't... I think this neck needs to be longer. What? Steve, I can't really see Mark because I've got the um, the YouTube chat popped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that neck needs to be a little bit longer. I'm not happy with that now. I'm going to just take that neck a little bit longer than that. Thanks for your input, guys. <laughs> bottle. Well, they're short and stumpy, are they? What? Yeah. Because I was gonna put it. I was gonna put it as a right angle, but like you say, it's supposed to be sort of growing out of the out of the log, so it's obviously supposed to be rounded like that. Do you not agree? Yeah, which is what I'm looking for. Yeah, no, that's, that's what I, that's my that was my interpretation, Mark. That obviously, if it's squared off, you like that's just been stuck in the hole. But the way I'm going for is um, for it to be growing. Jesus Christ! Has he not been on this channel before? <laughs> I would know. Right, hang on then. 
Try now. Hello, hello, hello. Can you still hear us? Yeah, because we are still here. And he's saying he can't hear the earworms. Anybody else coming in? Yeah, it should be all right now. Doc Miller says, Seth, I think you're right. We've lost Wayne and Mark. Can you guys hear us at all? Yeah, I've just, that, for some reason, that weren't. No. They still can't hear us, Steve. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we are. There you now we're back. Yep. Yeah, you should right. have heard what we were saying about you lot in the chat. Oh, my <laughs> life. No, no wonder we got muted. <laughs> You've made them all paranoid now. <laughs> so what happened there, then? Um, I think when I was messing around the other night with Pete, I turned all the stream audios off, except for, and I didn't turn them all back on, obviously. So I've just put that one back on on the on the on the Zoom. I would imagine it disappeared when I zoomed in. The audio. Oh blimey, they haven't heard anything we've said for ages then. No, when know. you zoom when you zoomed out, Steve, not when you zoomed in. All oh, right, okay. That's on now, so. So just be careful what you say now, they can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm pleased they didn't hear us. I would have been right in the soft and smellies. Yeah. <laughs> They'd have formed opinions of us. <laughs> no. Not these lovely people. The reason that we got muted was Mark and I were practicing our new chat show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Silence. Silence. Silence is golden with Wayne and Mark. Douglas is saying it could be a brandy bottle. Yep. It could it, it could be any type of bottle. Or it could just be a bottle. It could be a Ribena bottle. Oh no, they're a particular shape. Got one of those upstairs. I need a bit of hundred grit. Oh here we go. That'll do. Oh, Jigsy's Jig off. Hey, See, you later. See you later, Bye, Jigsy. Jigsy. Have a good evening. Ruby, Ruby, what's she put? Seriously, listen here, young lady. She says we already have opinions on all three of you. Oh, thanks, Ruby, for the for the confidence. She was all nice the other night in the chat. Oh, she doesn't say what those opinions are. Well, yeah, this so we is could true. be prejudging. Don't you start, Colin? Ruby says, save a label off a red bottle and stick it on. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'd ask Wayne to send me one, but I only want one. I don't want a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, hey, Wayne, to be fair, he's got your number. <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll text you in the morning and apologise. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> right. No, like Mark, like Mark said earlier on, I've given up. I've given up doing that. I don't see the point anymore. <laughs> Andy says, "I could be prejudging, but I could also be right." Why did? I have no idea why YouTube held that comment for, a, for approval. What's that? Katie said, taking you guys into the kitchen, got to make butter icing. And it held it for approval. <laughs> Seriously, YouTube. 
I do wonder sometimes when that holds things in review. David Nichols in says hello from Kentucky. Hello, David. Hey, David. Welcome. Hello, David. Welcome along. Can you guess what it is that Steve's making? Right. No, no, Mark, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> We're going to get so many YouTube approvals now. <laughs> if you do like what Steve's doing, um, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. If you do subscribe, hit the notification button so you can see when he's next coming on live. And if you really like what he's doing, um, I'm not very sure if the link at the top of the chat is working for buying Steve a, a coffee, but he has got the buy me a coffee in the description of the video where you can go across and support his channel. Or you can use the link I've just put in the chat. Or you can use the link that Mark's just put in the chat because he's clever like that. All right. It's quite pretty, actually. I like that. And Peter from Twisted Trees is asking, I'm really looking forward to seeing Steve hollow this. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be sat there a long time, sunshine. <laughs> right. Let's get that cleaned up with a bit of meths. Ruby saying she's only watching because you better entertain the TV. Yeah, Ruby, and it's free. <laughs> yeah. What was that, Steve? Methylated spirits. Or denatured alcohol, whatever you want to call it. Just denatured to, alcohol. Just to clean the grain out. Take any, because we're going to be colouring it. So I just clean any design and mix just come in. Hello, how are you? I was oh, designer make. I forget the guy's name. All right, so let that dry off a little bit. So we get colours out, and we went for forest. Oh, I don't know if I got forest green in a spray bottle. I might forget a new tin out, a new jar. Uh, Hang the expense. Open duh. another bottle. No, it's not the oh, bottle. Ruby, Ruby seeing the TV's free there anyway. All right, no, it's, <laughs> it's not the bottle. I've got the bottle. It's just uh, I've never used the green in a spray gun. Designer makes Design. called James. That's it, James. Sorry, mate. Evening, James. Pete from Twisted Trees has said, DNA equals meths, meths equals out-of-state contraband in California. Because they've banned it. Ben is asking, how are you going to blend the colour with the base? It's a good question, Ben. I might just gently feather it in. What do you reckon? Or do I tape it? I don't really want to tape it, because you're going to get a white line. You're going to get a line in. I don't really want a line. I think I'm and just going to... Gently feather it in, I think, is the question, is the answer. What say you guys? No, see, I would say Ru you do Ruby need is, a line. I do Ruby need a line. Saying, right, Ruby is saying green wine, question mark, question mark. The thing green is, bottle. is that the, the bottle is actually green, Ruby. Especially if it's holding red wine, the bottle is green. We had this discussion before we came on live, and... Um, we, we were saying that, obviously, uh, a red wine bottle is green. And I know you can get some clear red wine bottles, can't you? But... So... See, the way I'm thinking, Steve... Yeah. Um, bear with me. If you run some tape around the bottom, but I'd, to see the curve yeah. where the wine bottle curves into the... If you could get a line... Just on the edge, yeah. Just, yeah. So you, you, you've got a defining line between the wood and where the bottle starts. Right, well, I have. It's got to be up, it's got to be near the top 
of that curve, I think. Yeah, well, I can get that in there because I've got some uh, thingy tape here. Some fine lines. Well done. Hodgepodge has just hit a thousand subs. Well done, mate. Oh, well done, mate. Well uh, done. Congratulations. Okay. And Keith is saying green wine, Krabby's ginger wine. Yeah, but we're not talking about the colour of the wine. We're talking about the colour of the bottle. Bottle. See, they, Gerard, these pair, they laughed at me when I said a brown bottle. They ridiculed me, laughed at me. <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> somebody else has agreed. I said brown. Never mind. What do I know? <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you finished? <laughs> Have you finished? Hang, hang on. Right, hang, right. Can I just clarify something here? I ridicule Mark all the time. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the colour of the bottle. He just gets ridiculed all the time. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't think there was any need for that. But... <laughs> do you know what? I think it was a big mistake letting you two see each other. <laughs> no, I think it works really well. Because... In all seriousness, I can see when Wayne's about to talk. <laughs> and he can see when I'm about to talk. So we don't talk over each other as much. Right, so it's got a, got a thin tram line in there. So I'll just put this over. And Peter said, this is Wayne's bottle of wine, therefore it's empty. <laughs> yeah, it's just the bottle left. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm on the wrong camera. Oh, no, you're fine. Don't touch it. And Gerard saying, Mark, you're totally right. Stand your ground. Yeah. That works. I um, see. See, Steve Scott's got it right there. He's colorblind. You just drink the contents. Yep. <laughs> Who cares what color the bottle is? Douglas Mungham said, I thought that the bottles were coloured to stop the wine discolour or discolouring. I do. Um, I've never heard that and I can't be bothered Googling it. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine the reason they use coloured bottles is because they're cheaper than clear bottles. Personally. Ah, see, now I have heard that. Because I think clear glass is more expensive to make than coloured glass. I've heard that somewhere. That might have been on the Art of Fire thing. I would imagine that's why they're coloured, because obviously it's <clears throat> for clear bottles. That's that's ringing a bell with me. The clear glass. So so what section. we're seeing there. So what we're seeing there is clear glass is sort of original glass, and then coloured glass comes from recycled glass. No. <laughs> How did you work that one out? Um, you no, can't come I from think, recycled think clear I, glass. No, I think I think Wayne's no. I think Wayne's on the right the right track. Clear glass is pure glass. Right. Fresh virgin glass. Oh, right, okay. Coloured glass is made up of recycled glass. Oh I see I'm with Therefore, you. Oh it's cheaper. Yeah I'm with you yeah, I'm with you. I see what you're saying now. So I'm going to put another ring around there and cover up the tip. What we're going to put red for the wax. Right, Ruby has said that uh, the bottles are used in, in Canada because she's already said that it's, they use clear bottles in Canada. The bottles they use in Canada are clear to show the clarity of the contents. Right. Andy H is saying wine bottles are green or brown to stop the wine oxidising. Right, so how about white wine then? White wine doesn't always come in um, in green or brown. It sometimes comes in in clear glass. Oh, we're getting a bit really posh stuff. We're getting we're getting a bit technical now, aren't we? What? Your four hundred pound bottle of Chateau. <laughs> All right. Pete's been on Google. Most common wine bottle colours are dark green and amber. Other variations include blue, deep brown and frosted. Traditionally, coloured wine bottles have been used to limit exposure to light. There you go. 
Sunlight and even incandescent light can cause wine to break down, affecting colour, aroma and taste, eventually leading to oxidisation. Isn't copy and paste brilliant? Yeah. <laughs> and apparently white wine doesn't oxidise. And the thing is, the other thing to remember is, if you buy a young cheap wine, it doesn't really matter. Have you ever had trouble with wine oxidising, Wayne? I've got no idea, tell you the truth. <laughs> it's never really sat long enough. <laughs> it only sees the oxygen for about an hour. <laughs> I mean, some people say you've got to let you've got to let wine uh, breathe. Yeah, well, it gets a chance of that when it's going down. <laughs> Now that actually looks a really good green. So glad I suggested that colour for you. You said brown, you oh, said earth. The lion, Torag. <laughs> Tell you, he's full of trouble tonight, isn't he? What? John Scarborough saying, why couldn't I copy and paste from Google? No idea. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. <laughs> Don't know, is it a multiple Brent, choice question? Uh, Brent's <laughs> made a fair point. He says someone comes in cardboard boxes. Yeah, but it's not actually... The, the wine isn't held in a cardboard box. It's held in plastic. In a bag inside. It's like one of them catheter bags, isn't it? <laughs> um, That's even got the emptying tap on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do darker than that. I think that's about the right darkness. Yeah. <laughs> right, t turn the lid off for a second, Steve. Add a light on a bit when you put sand and sealer on it. All right, get the tape off of it then. So, the, the, the reason I don't like, um, or the reason I don't do colouring when the lid is running very often is because you don't tend to get um, a nice even colour all around. You tend to get that, that ring type effect. Yeah, from here. I'm hoping when I get a scotch brown, it's going to disappear a little bit. But we'll call it flaws in the glass, if not. A little bit of bleaching through, but... This tape is brilliant stuff. Absolutely do you see what I mean about having that defining line between the bottle and the wood now? Yes, I do. Because it now looks like the, the sort of the, the trees, fit the, the as it's growing out of the tree, that's sort of emerging from there rather than down yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. All right, so a little bit of ruby, I reckon, around the top. <laughs> Gerard is suggesting, Steve, I would add a little bit of earth colour to uh, darken that green. Yes, okay. Now, Pete has also put in, somebody turned an excellent barrel that takes the bags out of boxed wine. Was it one of you lot? It wasn't me, but it's an actually, it's a brilliant idea though, Pete. And I think I saw that, to tell you the truth. Just going to put a little bit of tape right now, just to stop that. Going on that too much. I can't remember who it was that did that. They made a what? What did they make? Sorry, I didn't quite catch what. What the what they did? They made, they made a um, a barrel. They turned a barrel that actually takes one of the bags out of the cardboard boxes of wine. All right, I see. With the, with the tap and everything, you know. So the, they made a hole for the tap to to fit through and everything. Good idea. It, it looked brilliant. That's are, a really are you good idea. Uh, Steve, before you right, he's already done it now. What? <laughs> what? I was I was going to say, are you going to mask off the cork? Well, like, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. End. yeah, I'm with you. But you've, already, with you. you've already coloured it now, though. Yeah, well, I can quickly sand it down. It ain't going to take long to sand down, is it? Okay. Don't start getting on to me. I'll stand in the corner and cry. 
Wayne, get on to him. Tell him. <laughs> tell him like you tell me. <laughs> I love it when Ian, well, Ian, who's Ian? I love it when Wayne earworms for me because I know his tone of voice and when he says, Mark, it's straight off the lay, don't touch anything because <laughs> he's about to tell me to do something. <laughs> I don't want to turn up to. I don't want to shake all the wine up and get air in it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want frothy wine. No. Gives you hiccups, doesn't it? Yeah. Stuart Ingroyle's in. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Hey, Stuart. Welcome along. All right, so. <laughs> so I'll put a little bit of tape on there. And what you could do mm -hmm. once you've done the once you've done the ruby is uh, actually do the um, that little bit of cork piece in earth oh yeah i'm with you to make it look like a proper cork it's a corking idea that is right. uh, eric yes it is um i believe that was a piece of um sand and mesh is it that brunette yep yep yeah only use that brunette Pete yeah, says, this, Pete. this is posh wine, all is have screw caps. Yeah, same, <laughs> same as mine, Pete, same as mine. Ronnie Hutchbow's in. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. Just let it dry a little bit. Ronnie, I've got to ask, after all this time, am I still saying your name right? No, my name's yeah. Dave. Yeah, Ron Ronnie sounded quite good, to tell you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Which bow? <laughs> Oi, Clasper, read my lips. <laughs> Hey Pete, we can have all this kind of fun on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mike could allow that. Right, let's get this off. Wrong way, boy. It's going to be a nightmare next week with you lot, with bloody Robbo. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Aren't you, Wayne? Oh, is Robbo in next week? Yeah. yeah. I think I might not turn up. <laughs> I can't you just it. stand in the corner of the three of us or take the piss all night. Well, what's new there then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right, Ron, Ronnie said your pronunciation is close. Close. The thing close. is, the right. thing is, Mark, you say Ujbo, but the J comes before the B. Yeah, but I... I... Sorry. Yeah, the no, B becomes before the G. Before the J. Becomes before the G. Yeah. Good, 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 Joe. Right. So a little bit of earth on the end there. Funny. So Ben is saying, how about doing this off axis so the wine bottle comes out at an angle? Do you have another log, Steve? <laughs> I do, but Mark told me that was too big. And the log. <laughs> oh, we've still got to do that, Pete. Uh, 
And Douglas is asking, Steve, are you making these for the next Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> is there another one, is it? It's bleached into the female a little bit, that's... <laughs> Well, I think that's the colouring done. That actually looks like a bottle of wine. Ah, oh, really pleased I suggested those colours. <laughs> I'm really glad I suggested you do the whole thing. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Yeah. Oh, Ben's seeing the cork is too dark now. When you want to sand a bit out of it. When it's dry. Let it be known, folks, I was going to do this on Monday. Now I'm struggling for ideas. Sorry, Mark. Do the old... Hang on, a a one. Well, hang on, Mark. You're struggling for ideas. I know. Just, just, yeah, I'm not even going to go there. You do three a week. I'd do a box. What right, are you doing Gerard Monday? is saying, right, hang on. Gerard is asking, if you were trying to have the bottle coming out at an angle, how would you put it on the lathe? Um, off centre, Gerard. If you want me to try it, I might try it. Yeah, go for it. Do you know what? I think that would be a really good idea, Wayne. In all seriousness. Then you, you do your interpretation of the same thing. Okay. I'll have to see if I can find the bloody log, though. That was I've a got better. a couple. <laughs> that was a bit better, not it? Yes, that, that does look better, uh, Steve. It has lightened it off a bit. I'm just going to scotch bright this in, just denib it a little bit. Okay, dear, it takes too long to do cake stands. Why if I do them? What did you do the tops there on the end of, Mark? Ash. I was going to say, it didn't look like what you said you were going to do, Mouth. No, I got told off for that idea. Didn't know Wayne. <laughs> I don't mean that. I don't think that look, when you said about it, and I said to you, didn't I? I don't think that looked right, but. What was the, what, top what of the cake tell you for this time? Top of the cake stands. What I suggested. And you went, don't you dare. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He was going to use bloody plywood. I oh, know. Is it? Dear God. Um. Help! Help me, Joe. Help! Help, Joe. There you go. Then. Help, Joe. Is that better? All right. Spray this with some cellulose so, sand and sealer. So Kim's asking a very relevant question here, Steve. Yep. Um, where does the funnel go? <laughs> funnel goes in the top so you can fill up the bottle of wine. You can refill it. Ben so, says I could do an emerging traditional Cornish pasty. Uh, that's going to take some thinking about. Alright, so let's give it a coat of... Uh... Do an inside out Cornish pasty. To tell you the truth, I think the only lumps of log that I've got that I could do this out of is you. And um, I really wouldn't want to colour that. And, uh, you'd get shot, wouldn't you? Hey? You'd get letters. After his name? Oh, he got letters of complaint. <laughs> <laughs> 
How dare you colour that you? Wood. So I've got to say, looking at on looking at that on the screen, that looks brilliant. It looks just like a bottle of wine. Mate, you've knocked that out of the park. Thank you. That was your idea. Yeah, you bugger. I like my it. Choice of colours. <laughs> Wayne's, Wayne's I, choice of colours. I like it because if you look, um, if you look there. Where the neck is joining, you know, when you get a bottle that gets darker, where it gets thicker. Yeah. You can actually see that in there, where it's starting, to, where it looks darker, and where it, on the actual neck. And of course, you did that on purpose, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't, Mark. It was an accident, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, Pete's saying he's got a Nash log in the back of the van, and I can go down and pick it up. Oh, cheers, Pete. It's not that far. <laughs> Only twenty hours of driving. There and back. Yeah, Brent said he really likes it. Steve and Ruby totally agrees with him. Thank you very much. Uh, and Paul Smith has said the same thing as well. Looks really good, Steve. Well done. Michael A turning down under. He says, hi, always oh, just got up. Oh, morning. Morning. Cobberell sa said it looks real. Oh, thank you. Oh, Mark, do a cookery lesson, traditional Cornish pasty. Well, A, pointless because I couldn't eat it. B, I'm not Cornish. He's Welsh. Even though I live, don't you start, <laughs> even though I live in Cornwall, it's, it's technically illegal for me to make Cornish pasties. Cause oh, what a, load of, what a load of holics. Holics. <laughs> I'm down, I'm down here, it Quick, it's shot. I could make a traditional Cornish pasty. I have done oh, a yeah, lot no, you of can. times. You're okay because you live in Scotland. If you live in Cornwall and you're not from Cornwall and you make a pasty, the uh, Cornish separatists will come after you. Yeah, right. they, Katie? So are you telling me there are no home bakers in Cornwall that make Cornish pasties? Yeah, they are, but they just keep it a secret. I couldn't do it on YouTube. All right, that uh, seems a bit strange, doesn't it? So I'm giving this a coat of Hampshire Sheen um, microcrystalline. I'm going to give it a couple of coats because I want a nice shine on it. I'm on the bottle anyway. <laughs> Steve, I, I haven't let you down, mate. I just know the rules for where I live. They're militants down here. Well, <laughs> one, well on one side Pete, and Russians on the other. Pete says, Mark can't make Cornish pasties because he'll put the jam on wrong. <laughs> so while I'm rubbing this in, just quickly. I'm properly impressed with this. This looks stunning. Just quickly, I've, I know I said a couple of weeks ago when I hit 2,500 subs I was going to do a giveaway. And last night I hit 2,500 subs. So, on Sunday I will be announcing the giveaway. We've got some really cool things to give away. Um, we've been lucky enough to be supported by Yorkshire Grit. Glyn has offered, or Glyn and Joe, shall I say, has offered some Yorkshire grit and a hat. And uh, Starbond have sent a T-shirt and some stickers to be put into the prize as well. And then obviously I'm going to put something in it. So I'm just got to work out whether I'm going to do one prize or whether I'm going to do two. Um, I don't know if do one big mega prize or do two. Me and Mike was talking about earlier, and I'm not quite 100% sure yet, but. I'll have a think over the weekend 
And I'll let you go noise on the Sunday, or let you guys know Sunday, should I say? Grand. I'm Did doing two. Out? I'm I'm doing two on main, Steve. Oh yeah. Just, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, it makes more sense because it's it makes it more fairer, doesn't it? Not one person's getting everything, and that's what I'm. I'm that's the way I'm swinging at the moment. Yeah, I'm doing the 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 piece that I turned the other week, which was the um the blue vase shape with the the gold leaf on. That's going to be the the first prize, and the second prize is a it's a um a tin of Yorkshire grit, a tin of Yorkshire grit microfine, and a hat as well. That will be the second prize. See, mine will be the other way around because the Yorkshire grit's better. <laughs> And that will be drawn next Wednesday. Yeah. That's been two weeks already, bloody hell. Yeah. John from New Jersey is asking, what's a pasty? John, click that link. That's a Cornish pasty. There are other forms of pasties in the UK. All right, let's get some speed on this, get some heat in it. I can't talk about those because I live in Cornwall. I can't, I just... They're just not, not pasties. Of course the pasties. They weren't invented in bloody Cornwall. Oh, Katie, close your ears. Jesus. Katie's head's just exploded. Right. Do you see what I mean about Friday nights? Right. <laughs> this is why we're not going to do a wine with Wayne. <laughs> My pasties come from all over the bloody... It's like seeing a pie comes from a particular area. It's a bunch of bloody nonsense. Oh, Melton Mowbray pork pies. Don't they only come from Melton Mowbray? Uh, Melton Mowbray pork pies only come from Melton Mowbray. But pies in general come from all over the place. Pasties in general come from all over the place. Ah, but... Uh, traditional Cornish pasties have World Heritage thingy what's it? Thingy what's it? Protected. Is that capital? They're protected. No, they're a protected product or something. Right. Mark, he didn't ask what a Cornish pasty was. He asked what a pasty was. They, yeah, they like empanadas. Right. Let's get this. Basically, it's, it, it's pastry with meat and veg in. They just happen to be made in Cornwall. <laughs> Some of them happen to be made in Cornwall. Some what's of them. That what's that pizza thing that's folded over? Who are you talking to? Uh, it's like look? a pizza, but it's folded over and crimped around the side. Couldn't tell you, mate. Couldn't tell you. Oh, what's that called? Uh... Are you being are you are you being serious? No, no, no. Or? Yeah, no, no he's being serious. serious. It's like a pizza. It's got the the same fillings that a pizza. It's got the toppings that a pizza has, but you fold it enough. Oh right, I don't know. So it, it's shaped. Calzone. calzone. Yes, that's it. Like a calzone. Italians call them panzerottis. Hey, do you mean lanzarotti, though? No, the Stromboli, uh, Chisky is Stromboli something different. Stromboli is not the same as a Calzoni. All right, let's get this part of them. <laughs> That's a pasty. I'll go into that. Whoops. He said pizza is just boiled cheese on toast. Wash, wash cheese on toast.
Steve, I've got to say, mate, that that I've said it before, but that looks absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, sir. It properly looks like a bottle of wine. Well done, Wayne. Thank you. Well, it was your idea, so credit goes to you. Oh, Eric is saying, don't drop the Steve, the bottle will break. <laughs> I'm not actually yeah. going to go all the way through. I'm going to go about that far and finish it off with a saw. Right, John from New Jersey has said, you don't pronounce the E in Calzone. Okay, John. I can live with that. Steve, hold on to the bottle. I don't want to break it. I own your breath, Mark. Yeah. I know you. Got some nasty cracks in there. So. I just need to clean up the bottom, but I'll do that after the live. I'm not going to do that now. But you know what you know what you could do? What's that? Now you could drill a hole in the top and wind a corkscrew in. Just leave it sitting oh. at an angle. So it's like it's trying to be pulled out. Yeah, yeah well you, you don't have to. You can just you don't have to drill a hole, just wind the corkscrew in. Will it go down through the wood? Yeah, it'll go down through the wood. So there we go. Woo. Yeah. Okay, Colin has said there used to be a Bed Bedfordshire clanger meat in one end and jam in the other. Now, the original, I've got to say, the original pasty used to be savoury in one end and sweet in the other for lunch times when people were going down the mines so they had a savoury and they had the pudding all in one. That's why they had the big crimp on them, because they used to carry them by the, the crimp. crimp. It's pretty you should have used to eat the crimp, because there's, there's, uh, there's, 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 there's a hand dirty, because there were tin miners. There was arsenic in the tins. The tins. So there you go. There, there you, you go. go. Look, look, look at that. That is brilliant. brilliant. It's nice. I like that. Just need to clean off the bottom. Just sand that out. It's a couple of little cracks. I might just put some CA or some super glue in there. Just stop moving. And then uh, just seal that up. Clean it up a little bit and seal it up. But other than that, I like it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I will um, I'll, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll get it. I'll get it um, cleaned up. I'll get some photographs of it tomorrow. And I'll get it up on social media. So people can see, but no, it's good. I like it. It's turned out really, really well. Really, really well. Yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve, the echo's, the echo's back. back. Oh, right. I know why. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Mouse. I'm looking for my mouse. I'm just going to disappear for a second. Right, what about now? Is it back? Is it gone? Are we still, Are we still echoing, echoing now? now? Should be gone now. No, I've enjoyed that. That's something different. Oh, oh hey, 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 hang on. on. We, we weren't, weren't echoing. echoing. John, John from, from New, New Jersey, Jersey said, said that the e worms are reverberating. reverberating. <laughs> something that was right. sound majestic. Majestic. Yeah, yeah, yeah on, on a flat, flat night. night. <laughs> no, it's nice. I like that. It's, uh, something different. Right, I've right, never turned it. Michael Lee turned down, down under and said... said See if that's the giveaway, Well, I could do, can I? If, if people want it. Yeah. Barry said, Mark, Mark clean, clean, clean shaving tub. Oh, oh, yeah, I left it there on purpose. purpose. <laughs> He's going to use them later to warm up the workshop. <laughs> Pete, Pete says, says still echoing, echoing, echoing new DDI audio, audio source. source. What have I got to do? How do I do that? New, new DDI audio, audio source. source. How do I do that, then? I don't, I don't know. know. Pete, Pete said, said this. Pete, how do I do that? Let's have a look. 
NDI audio, audio source. source. Uh, have I lost you both now? Talk. Right. Can you hear the guys now? Because I've just muted them. But whether you can still hear. Can you. St can the chat. I can hear you, but I don't know if the. Let's see if I. I don't know if that's lost you completely or whether. Um... Yeah, which is what I've just done, but I don't know if I'll lose you. If, I, if, I, if they let me know whether you're gone or whether you're still there. No, 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 what? No, you can't hear them? Right. Right, okay. Let me, um... I'm doing the chat, Steve, that we're muted. Second, let me just do this. Right, what about now? Can you hear the guys now? Talk, guys. Yeah, we're still here. We're still here. Can you hear us? Mary had a little lamb. His fleet was black as snow. <laughs> nope, they can't hear us. Well, I'll give it a chance. It takes 10, 15 seconds, that. 20 seconds, whatever. You'd be very proud of me. Still hear us. You'd be very proud of me tonight. Look, I've got. Oh, a... Back again. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Okay, I... good. I know what I've, I know what I have to do now, uh, Pete. Thank you very much. You'll be very um, proud of me today, Mark and Wayne. What's that? Shandy, one of these boys, and I'm anybody's. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, steady. I'm pleased you didn't drink all that before you started. Yeah, you don't drink and drive. <laughs> kind of shandy bath. No, 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 no. That's a proper shandy. Uh, proper shandy, you know, it's real lemonade and real beer. <laughs> um, so yeah, if people want this in the giveaway, it's got I'll... a real beer in there. Real beer, yeah, it's a brown is beer it, and is, all. Is he, on, is he on about them bears again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if people want me to do this in the giveaway, then I'll quite happily do that. It's, it's, it's no skin off my back, or I'll do another one. Um, so no echo, they can hear you guys. So I know what I've got to do now. So I know exactly what I've got to do. So works a treat. So anyway, just one more show. I'm really proud of that. I like that. I've, I've, that's the most enjoyable thing I've done for a long time. That's really, really good. I think the colour's just about right, isn't it? To be honest. Yeah. Yep, the, the colours are spot on, mate. Spot on. I like that. It's nice. So just clean that bottom up. I might clean that and put a bit of green felt on there to cover that cracks up. What do you reckon? I've got some green felt. Yeah, why not? Let let it be known. I chose the colours. <laughs> or I could flock it. <laughs> oh, don't flock it. <laughs> Brilliant. So, so somebody's yeah, saying... Yeah, we've got, a, got, got a few people saying uh, do it in the giveaway. Yeah, that'd be good. Who said they can't hear? Still, no, still can't hear them. Pay you, not them. That's my dad. From your dad, yeah. He must be pissed. <laughs> no, great. All right, guys. Thank you very much for coming over. It's been very... Uh... Yeah, Ruby, I might, I might see if I can get a label, stick on it. That might just finish it off. Or do you reckon that would be too much? No, I think that will look pretty cool, to tell you the truth. Yeah. The, only, the only thing is with doing labels on something like this is that... Um... Okay, if you're going to advertise it, it might get pulled for copyright, hmm. uh, things like this. What you could do is make your own label up to go on there. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, Steve's Red Vintage 2021, something like that. Yeah, I could do I can do it on the computer, can't I? Yeah, yeah. you can do that on the computer. If you if you pick a label off a proper wine glass, a uh, proper wine bottle... If there is the chance somewhere down the line, if it does get shown on YouTube or whatever, you, you could get picked up for it. You know what's going to happen. You know, you know what's going to happen, don't you? I mean, I got, I got pulled. Remember that time I put in that uh, Tony Hart music on that Sunday lunch live live for when I was yeah. sanding. That got pulled straight away. That did. I remember people years ago getting pulled when I used to do a hell of a lot of fruit. 
I remember people getting pulled for putting the the wee Jaffa stickers on bananas and things. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad, isn't it, really? Yeah, I could. I, to Andy's be honest, saying you could buy labels for homemade wine. Yeah, I could, to be honest, Andy, for the for how many seconds it take, I'll I'll make one on the computer and just I'll work out the circumference, work out the length of it, and I'll just make one. I said you just yeah. got to be gently stuck on there, and it ain't got to be a lot, has it? Or like Brent says, half a label, make it emerging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so that's sort of because that won't be down there anyway, don't it? Really. Um, Stuart, no, I am not going to try out Martin's new uh, beard oil. <laughs> We've already had this conversation. <laughs> what are you looking for, the flying pig? I might do. You might do. Why well, you beard oil anyway? Well, and, uh, G- G- to tell you the truth, uh, I don't think Jamie's in the chat because he's he's busy doing a podcast at the moment. But uh, Jamie's already ordered some. Has he? I yeah. know. I know. Martin's got a competition going at the moment, and he's got five lots to give away. So well, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a giveaway. It's not a competition. But well, yeah, giveaway. I'm not. I'm not even going to enter. No, I don't use it. I'm not going to. Well, that's your preference, mate. That is that's your preference. Of course it is. But no, each to their own, isn't it? You know, I mean, I don't use it on my bed. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> I got married out the other night. Nick said you need to shave more than once a fortnight. I'm like, okay. Right, okay. OBS was... Oh, what's Terry asking what we're doing? What program you're using? Sorry, uh, Skype. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Um... <laughs> Only bees you had, Mark. <laughs> That's too sad. O- OB- OBS with Strayo. <laughs> That's too. Uh, yeah, and I, I think it worked well. I think, other than the little bit of an echo we had when we was on this, I think we've worked well. Yeah. But hopefully we've cured that problem. So good test, um, and I think we've cracked it. So, like I said, next week we've got Robbo Robson back in. Looking well, forward to that. Steve, it certainly works better than Restream. Oh, yeah. definitely. Definitely works better than Restream. There's nothing more sound than that. Uh, more reliable. Good picture quality, hopefully. Um, hopefully we're pushing out as... And, Go on, and the fact... Then, then, seriously, now, yeah, Wayne and I have been taking the piss, but seriously, we can see each other. So I can see when he's about to talk and he can see when I'm about to talk. So there's less clashing. Yeah, between the earworms. Yeah, because I notice that I notice that with some of the lives we have, that uh, especially when we've got more than you two guys in, um, we get like someone says something, and halfway through that saying that the other one starts to talk over the top because they can't see because that delay. So yeah, that if that works, and that's even better. But no, it worked well. Yeah. I like it. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm I'm glad we've got it working, and I think I'm going to do this for uh, this every week the special guest and the battle of the makers because uh yeah. i think it's more direct don't you think so wayne yeah i think it works brill yeah uh, yeah, do you... this is, this... i've been watching it on youtube on my phone i've, I've, I've got to see it's this... been fantastic this is the first time i've used skype as well do you find that you're more directly in the conversation is not such a big gap yeah yeah definitely yeah, because I find with you uh, StreamYard and Restream sometimes, you sort of a few seconds behind where someone will say something before their lips are finished moving, they've finished talking, and you get that little bit no, of delay. The, right, Pete just said, interesting, there's an audio delay on Mark, but not on Wayne. Hmm, strange, isn't it? Really? That's weird. But that could be YouTube, though, couldn't it? Because Pete has helped set this all up, hasn't he? Yeah, Pete's being a big help. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Ruby's just been glad you got it all set up before you had me on. Ruby, I still, you know, I said to you the other night when you was in Marks, I'd love to get you on. Um, you let me know when you're free. Uh, we are booked up now till uh, August, September. Oh, the, the next available date is September. Um, I've got guests booked. Well, I'll tell you what, Ruby, I don't often put special guests on, but um, I will be contacting you sometime soon. Definitely. Definitely. Queen of turning. Yep, definitely. I would love to have Ruby on. Really would. Like I say, September, if you're not on holiday, you are more than welcome to come on. Um, but if you can't do September, then there's October. No, you know what I mean? I've only booked up till 
uh, August at the moment. So there's still plenty of time to get people in there. So like I say, we've got Robbo Robson back next week. Um, we've got a few other people who have said to come back. So we've got plenty to go on in the year. We've got Stuart Freeney. He said he'd pop back in. Uh, Martin said he'd come back on. We've got Joe. He said, I mean, everybody's been on his base that he said they'll come back on. So, uh, and if you guys have got, oh, I've got um, Colwyn Way as well, I believe. He's coming on. Ed Oliver. He's oh, coming on. Oh, very good. And Ed Oliver. Oh, Ed. Ed's oh, coming on as well. Oh, me. Oh, <laughs> That's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> and Mike as well. Mike said he'd do it, depending on his work. You going to, well, I tell you what, if you get Ed on, you're going to have to colour all the walls. You're going to have to chuck stuff off the bloody lid <laughs> and everything. I mean, dear Christ. No, I, I, I said to Mike about coming on, but he said he couldn't give a commitment at the moment, but I will contact him later on in the year. Same as Emma Cook. She said she couldn't do it at the moment because obviously work commitments, because she's obviously with COVID, she's quite busy driving. And I spoke to Pam Harris as well, because I'd like to get Pam on. And um, But she said she was just getting over COVID and at the time she was quite busy. So I said I'd contact her later on in the year. But, you know, so they've all, none of, nobody said no. But it's just obviously got to work around other people's commitments. It's not, and because it's oh, not. Yeah, a, I tell you, you could have me on as a special guest. Like I said, I've yeah. asked. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, you, Wayne, you, Wayne, you, one week and it can just be Wayne. <laughs> the Wayne Show. <laughs> the Wayne Wine Show. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. No, brilliant. No, Wayne, you're my special guest every week. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that bucket? <laughs> oh, and you, Mark, and you. Yeah, you're all right. You can come in as well if you want. You've got nothing better to do. <laughs> That's my busy social diary. <laughs> right, shall we kill it? It's half past yeah. nine. We've been on too long. Right, guys, thank you very much for coming over. Uh, thank you very much to Wayne and Mark for joining me, as always. I really do appreciate it, gentlemen. And thank you, Mark, for the suggestion for tonight. I've really enjoyed doing something totally different. It's been lovely. So next week, cool. can you just let me know what you want me to do on the Wednesday for Friday? That'd be great. Yeah, oh, yeah, fine. <laughs> Turn a pen. No, 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 no. That don't go too well, does it, apparently? No, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got a mandrel yeah. anyway I've only got between Oops. centers I'm going to do half of it so anyway <laughs> we're going uh, have a great night guys have a great weekend um, these guys have already told you who's on tomorrow I don't know if Ed's on tomorrow um, yeah, but... Ed, Ed, uh, yeah he is Ed's doing Easter eggs tomorrow right okay so Ed's on tomorrow um, so there's loads of lives on tomorrow um, I will see you Thursday it's Easter weekend enjoy your time with your family enjoy your uh <laughs> Rest of your weekend. You're not doing a live on Sunday. Yes, I am back Sunday with uh, my lovely wife and myself, the Nikki Show, as everybody calls it. So <laughs> we'll be back. I'm doing a large bowl. I've got a big blank under there. Well, I've got several big blanks underneath the lathe. I'm going to dig a couple of those out. I'm going to do something. No colouring, no glory. Just a big natural bowl. Something different. I've been doing a lot of colouring lately. I've been doing a lot of a little bit, so I thought I'd just do a basic bowl. So we'll be back one o'clock Sunday. Um, I'll tell you Sunday who's on Sunday night and afternoon, and uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, guys, have a great Easter weekend. Speak to you soon. Take care, and bye for now. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. <laughs>